Okay, I'm just gonna see if there's bugs here too. Okay, it's like all dead like grass and stuff, right? I have a fear of bugs and there's a lot of bugs in this spot, but it's such a nice photo spot. So, you know, I'm just debating on whether I should uh, get out and, and... It's a tough choice. Things you gotta do for YouTube. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna go scope it out, all right? Okay, here we go. It's been way too long since I've done this, but we are back. If you haven't seen the last few videos, here's a quick update. I used to own a Nissan 370Z. I ended up selling it and bought a Honda Civic instead. Now, if you know anything about cars, you're probably thinking, why would someone do that? Why would you go from a 370Z to a Honda Civic? I know, I know, I had my reasons, but I'm not gonna get into that today. If you wanna know why I sold my Nissan 370Z, I made a video explaining all of it. I'll post the link down below. Today is more of an update video. I want to share with you what life has been like without the 370Z, but really, I wanna get more into the Civic itself and what it's been like owning it for almost a year now. The reason you haven't seen me on YouTube for quite some time now is because I've gotten more into photography. This is a Canon Rebel T7, an entry-level DSLR, and this is a 75 to 300 millimeter telephoto zoom lens. I'm actually on my way to go try some automotive photography for the very first time. We're gonna go take some pictures of the Civic, and I'm gonna get into what life has been like owning a 2017 Honda Civic with a 1.5 liter turbo. One of the things I love about this car, a remote starter. A remote starter can make a big difference, and this one for the Civic is actually from the factory, so it's built into the key fob. So you don't have to deal with those quality issues when it comes to aftermarket remote starting systems. This is so useful, especially in the winter time. No one likes getting into a cold car. Well, there's probably people like that out there, but I'm not that guy. Now, I know a lot of cars these days have this, but the 370Z didn't have it, just saying. Let's talk about performance. This car is not a 370Z, it's not a sports car. So it's not gonna win you any drag races by any means. This car is designed to be comfortable, it's designed to be fuel efficient. However, the 1.5 liter turbocharged engine is actually quite decent. The acceleration in the lower RPM ranges is plentiful to get you around city roads to overtake people on the highway. When it comes to handling, this thing handles like a go-kart. It is so nimble and so responsive. I could literally be driving around one-handed. This car, it's not a manual transmission. It's an automatic uh, with, a, with a CVT. It caught me off guard a little bit at first. There's a bit of this uh, sort of elastic feeling, especially when you're starting from a standstill or from lower speeds. When you step on the throttle, there's a bit of a sort of rubber band effect. But honestly, when you get used to it, it's no issue at all. When it comes to photography, location is key. I've literally been driving around for the past one hour trying to find a nice spot to uh, stop by and take some photos. Yeah, I think I've uh, I think I found a spot. A little bit creepy, but there's no one here and little bit of shade from the sun so hopefully we can get some good photos now another point I wanted to make was this car is actually not a bad looking car obviously the 370z looks a lot better but when you look at this car from certain angles it actually looks pretty good and I'm gonna see if I can uh, capture those angles start off with the 18 to 55 kit lens and uh, see what we can uh, come up with
when it comes to fuel efficiency, the amount of time I spend at the gas station with this car versus the 370Z, it is a big difference. With the 370Z, I was getting about 12 liters per 100 kilometers. With this car, I get on average 7.5 liters. On top of that, I can put 87 octane and get away with it. Whereas a 370Z or any sports car or any luxury car for that matter, you need to put a minimum of 91 octane on average. When it comes to fancy tech, this car has everything I would want in a modern car. You have heated seats, you have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you got a rear view camera, you have a blind spot camera on the passenger side as well, which is actually pretty useful. And all of those controls are within comfortable reach when you're sitting in the driver position. And that brings me to my next point. The seating position is very ergonomic. On top of that, the seats are also super comfortable. I've taken this car on a couple road trips now and I've had no issues at all with getting out of the car after sitting for like an hour, hour and a half. I remember driving around in the 370Z for even like half an hour, getting out and it felt like I went to the gym for a back and leg workout. There's also a lot of space in the car, not only storage space, but also space for yourself to get in and out of the car, to grab something within the car. Enough talking. I'm gonna put the telephoto zoom lens on and see what this car looks like with a bit of lens compression. I have a interesting angle in mind. Let's see if I can uh, if I can make it work. As much as I hate bugs, I like good photos better. Let's do this. By the way, down here. Ugh. Okay. crazy how your perspective in life can change so quickly. For the longest time, especially growing up, I told myself that the only car I would ever drive when I grew up was a sports car and it had to have a manual transmission. That idea in my head or ultimately it became a goal of mine, it was such a significant factor in key decisions in my life. Even though I love sports cars and I hope to own one again someday, that goal that I had in my mind I just don't see it the same way anymore. The experience of owning a Nissan 370Z was surreal. And now the experience of owning this Honda Civic, a regular commuter vehicle, I've learned to appreciate what different kinds of cars can offer and how important it is to own a car that actually fits your lifestyle. I don't know, maybe that's why I've started to like photography so much. Any good photographer will tell you that a photo is, it's not just an image, it's actually a way of telling a story. What you take a photo of and how you take it can drastically change the narrative of that story. Kind of like how my perspective on cars has changed. There is no doubt that there are days where I truly miss the 370Z. That just means that my passion for cars is still there. 